Hi, Pastor Rich here, and uh, and I am at the Algerine Swamp with Erin. Uh, thank you, Erin, for being the videographer today. She's behind the camera. She is awesome. And uh, what I'd like to show you, since it's easy to get turned around in the woods here, I'd like to show you how to make a compass out of some things that you might find around your house. And so I have in this bag here, I have a magnet. Um, let's see, I have a piece of a cork, um, like from a wine bottle or something. You can take that and cut just the very end off so you have a nice circular piece of cork that will float on water. All right, so we have our cork, we have our magnet, and inside of my sock here, I want to be careful that I don't get jabbed with it. I have a push pin, all right? And so what I'm going to do, I need to magnetize my push pin, all right? Uh, now, the planet, the whole planet is magnetized. Okay, so we have the North Pole, right? When you have a compass, the compass always points towards the north when it's magnetized. Now, first, what I want to do is I'm going to remove the, the sharp part of the push pin. Come on here. We can do it. Maybe I should have done this at home. Urgh. That didn't work. All right, so uh, plan B is going to be <laughs> to use a piece of a paper clip. <laughs> Gotta roll with it, right? Okay, so now I have my piece of a paper clip here and I'm gonna magnetize it now. So I'll take my magnet and rub just one of the, the ends, just the end there. So I'll rub that for a little bit, just for like maybe 15 seconds. All right, and that should now be magnetized. And what I need in order for this compass to work is a little bit of water. All right, so I'm gonna take this piece of a plastic Tupperware bowl and, uh, and put some water in it from the bog, okay? And we'll put that right there. All right. And then ooh, I'm gonna take my cork so it's floating on top of the water there. And I'm gonna take my piece of a paper clip and put it there. And let's see if it points us north. Now, I brought something to test the true north. And it, here's my phone, it has a compass on it. And do you see that? Our, 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 our homemade compass is pointing north, just like the compass on my phone. So it works, right? Uh, and, uh, and so it's nice to have a compass when you're making a way, your way through the woods. A compass can be like, like a guide. If you know what direction you want to go, a compass can point the way for you. A compass is a guide for you in the woods. And, uh, and I want to uh, just um, tell you a little bit about one of my favorite places in the Bible. It's John chapter 10. Um, and, uh, and I would invite, um, if there's children at home watching this, uh, ask your parents to read John chapter 10 with you. Uh, there's uh, some pretty cool stuff about how Jesus is our good shepherd. Uh, how Jesus, uh, who is God with us, um, is uh, cares for us and and is is our guide in life, showing us the way, kind of like a compass shows us the way uh, through the woods. Uh, and so uh, Jesus says that his purpose, he says, my purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. Wow, isn't that awesome? That as a compass is our guide in the woods. Look at that; it's still pointing north. Isn't that cool? Um, Jesus is our guide through life, and. Uh, and Jesus uh, is faithful to love us and to care for us. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's one of the greatest, my greatest treasure uh, is my relationship with Jesus. And, uh, and so I would uh, invite you, uh, as we're here in the, the Algerine Swamp uh, with our homemade compass, <laughs> uh, acknowledging that uh, as the compass guides us through the woods, uh, Jesus can guide us through life and, and help us to have God's peace in our hearts and can help us 
uh, to love God and to love our neighbors as ourselves. Uh, please pray with me, and you can repeat after me if you'd like. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us, for being our guide. Give us God's peace and help us to love our neighbors as ourselves. Jesus, thank you for loving me. I love you too. Amen. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this adventure in the Algerine Swamp, learning how to make a homemade compass. You can go ahead and make a homemade compass at your house now. And, uh, and uh, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.